Hi, my name is Alex Chow. Today I will talk about a often misunderstood feature called open shop floor bins that's in the work center code. First, I'll talk about what its purpose is. Then I'll talk about where to find it. And lastly, how you can use it in your business central. So what is the purpose? So assuming you have a finished good, let's say you have a finished good and we're building the machine here. And this machine requires component A, component B, and some loose screws. When you're building a bill of material, you want to include the major parts that goes into the machine, obviously. You also want to include these screws and nuts and bolts and small items, not because the manufacturers, they're going to actually pick the quantities because some of the items are just too small to pick. At the same time, you do want to keep them on your bill of material be because when you are planning out your inventory, you do want to include the cost of these nuts and bolts in the manufacturing of your items. So what the open shop floor bin does is if your warehouse has a directed pick and put away set up, you could set it so you have to pick component A, component B, but for these smaller items, these nuts and bolts, you do not have to pick them. The assumption is that you have these in a large bucket somewhere. And if the manufacturing person needs to use them, uh, they'll just grab it as they are building their finished good. So now that we've defined its purpose, let's talk about where to find it and how you should use it. Going to Business Central, um, the open shop floor bin is located on the work center card. So on the work center card, you will, if you're using a location that has directed pick and put away set up, you will need to define the location code on the particular work center and you will need to define the open shop floor bin. Now the bin that you set up cannot be ship, receive, and pick enabled. So these are just regular bins that you fill up like a, a bucket somewhere in a warehouse where people can just grab these nuts and balls freely without having to pick. Once this is set up, you will need to go to your items. So for these nuts and bolts, you want to define the item as for flushing. Meaning that as soon as the operation begins, the component will be consumed against the production order right away. Let's take a look at how to set up in the bombs. So under the production bomb, I did set up my, for example, brakes. For this uh, break, I have set up this flush no pick. And I do want to make sure that I specify a routing link code because this will link this particular item into a flushing, uh, into a routing operation in my routing. If I go back to my routing, and look at routing for item 1700. You see that I've defined this work center as the white location. If I scroll to the right, you'll see that I've set up the routing link code. Essentially, what this does is it links the operation to the items on the production bomb. Now let's take a look at what happens when we create a production order. And I am going to create a new production order for item 1700. I am going to use a quantity of one so in this case, it's going to be the white location. I'm going to click on refresh to refresh the components. Click on OK. If I look at the components, I will see the items that comes up for this production order. You'll see they have two items that are set up as manual flushing, meaning that I have to post the consumptions for these items manually. And also set up a flushing method of forward, meaning that I am going to automatically flush this item as soon as my operation starts. Notice that this is not picking forward, it's just forward. And the reason is because we do not want to pick for this. We've already defined the open shop floor bin. So I got my production order. Now, how do I automatically flush the items that's on the open shop floor bin? I am going to go to my output journal and I am going to define my output. You notice that the operation is 100. So as soon as I, as soon as I post this output, it means that I've started this operation. So I'm going to click on post, going to click OK. Now I'm going to go back and take a look at my production order. Now, if I look at my production order, I can see the item ledger entries. I've outputted one item of this finished good. And you see that this consumption has automatically been consumed for me. If I look at my warehouse entries, you could see that it automatically grabbed the items 
from my JIT. And there you have it. So if you have a lot of nuts and bolts you really don't want to pick for, um, you could use the open shop floor bins to have those items automatically be flushed so the users are not having to manually pick those nuts and bolts for your finished good. There you have it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. My name is Alex from AP Commerce. Thank you. Have a nice day.